Hi guys, welcome to this video. I just received a nice what if on Discord. Add clicks be awesome, right? We have the awesome desktop. Can we put Latte Doc in there? Now, I specifically did not log in just to show you guys that this is actually Lightium. And then with a nice wallpaper, and we log in too. Awesome. Now, so there's always a choice, SDM, LightDM, ALXDM, GDM, four of them, but GDM is more for GNOME, SDM is more for Plasma, LightDM, and in our case, SDM is for all, all desktops. That's what we use today, but a year ago, we used LightDM for all desktops. So it depends on hardware, because some of us, with our hardware, they report to us, they can't use SEDM. They should go to SEDM and then everything works. So just keep that in mind that there is an easy switch, by the way. Repeat, repeat, students, right? To LightDM and to SEDM. Super simple. Of course, all the applications need to be there, but take a look at the alias. Alias to SDM contains everything you need. Install SDM, enable SDM as it's active, and the other guy is too light. That was not what we're talking about. We were talking about LatteDoc. Now, before I'm gonna go in there, first off, tiling window managers, you're not supposed to use docs. Docs is for a cinnamon, is for a plasma, is for any desktop, right? Not a tiling window manager, but freedom, right? Linux and freedom. So there is Plank, there is LatteDoc, I believe there's also Cairo, which I haven't touched yet, tried yet. So Plank has always been my favorite because we have 90 themes. Can, we, can you imagine 90 themes, right? So enough choices for sure. Um, but menus or launching applications can be done via a diversity of stuff. And one of the things that's always going to work, we love it, is Super Shift D. That's the D menu, and the D menu is coming from DWM, right? It's there, it's hidden, it's away, but it's it's out of our way. Also very important, right? And you just type what you want to have, and you launch your application. That's one. There is Alt F2, which is the XFC App Finder. Alt F3 to learn to to tell people, okay. If you're starting out, you don't know the application, you don't know the name, a la Kriti, what is it called again, a la, a la something, right? But then you have this visual thing that you can look, it was something here, it was there, and what did I use, right? What was it again? Yes, it was Sublime Text, and then you can, well, launch it from here, or type Subla, but you need to know all these things. Control Shift D, Subla. That's Sublime Text, right? But once you know, you know, it's knowledge. That's um, possible. There is a Super F11, which is Rofi, full screen, and Super F12. So, so many ways to launch. The user wants Latte Doc. He wants a doc on Awesome, on the tiling window management. Let's see if that's possible. Sudo Pacman minus S, Latte Doc. That's one thing. Wow, right? Whatever, you want it, you install it. That's one. The other one, I wanna try that one as well, minus S plank. And we have our plank themes. Article Linux, plank themes. Plank and plank themes, both of them. Article Linux, plank, so the setting and the themes. And you see a scale, which means you type scale because you want that particular folder in your own configuration. Super X, logging out, logging back in, and voila. Now we still have to do work, right? We still have a lot to do. Let's first try out Plank. This is Plank. Plank gives you a small border in here you see this is a small border but plank is present but you have this kind of window why because it's a tiling window manager so okay fine super escape 
killing plank. Then latte dog. Latte dog is launched nowhere to be seen, right? Control shift escape. Latte dog is there. It's available, but it can't be launched, can't be shown. It is busy, I think. It is busy, but normally there would be some kind of bar if we move somewhere in a corner or somewhere. But not even, right? Control shift escape. Let's have a look. See, it's still there. It is still there. We can kill it if we want it. So let's do a latte dog from here. It doesn't give us any information. It seems it's working, but it's not really showing. Okay. So then you go for awesome latte dog. Right, blah blah. KDE Latte Talk. So it's developed not for Awesome, it's developed for KDE. Awesome open source. Latte is a doc. Yeah, that's awesome open source. It's just awesome, right? It's not the Linux style and Winner Manager. Awesome. Latte Doc without KDE, without as possible. Uh, I'm currently on KDE. So you go and have a look. Here's the exact question. It's possible on awesome WM. It's possible to run, not on KDE. One comment. Okay. And here we have information. Configure i3, it says here. Configure plasma, installation, at X session, BSPWM. Let's see. That's plasma indeed. Here yeah, we're going to say replace all kinds of things. System wide. I3 configuration. Don't see anything helpful there. Might have missed it, but let's continue. We have our own article, but that's probably going to be on Plasma. Oh, sorry. Yeah, correct. I'll say it correctly. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Let's see. Version replace debug. Debug, please. Woo! So, what does he want? Positions, blah blah blah. Indicate the package loaded. Plasma shell. We don't have plasma things. Little Pacman minus S. Plasma stuff. What could help him show up? I would think a plasma desktop can help. This is a virtual machine, so really don't care. 
Wow. Again. Wow. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Bottom edge, right edge, really is gonna be. <laughs> okay. I saw something. There he is. <laughs> I did notice something. So, phew, is this what you want, right? Is this what you want? This thing is down here. So if I run Lottie Dock like this, then we get this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, there is this line that we should get rid of. So in my opinion, it's much ado about nothing, right? I wouldn't be using, I will not be using Latte Dog. But in essence, we've made it possible. And I suppose the border, maybe we can define some way that it's gone. I'm not sure how, so don't ask me. I'm not sure how, but it's a nice what if, it's a nice experiment but um, I'm not keen in pursuing this, right? This is not my vision of awesome with um, these things there available. Tja, I really have no clue where and how, because if we do control T, we get this and that. So that's still okay. So the icons are gone then, it pops up again. So it's still okay, it's just maybe the line that could put people off and say, nah, that's, can't you get rid of that? I have no clue. I have no clue. It is Latte Doc. It is part of the ecosystem. Come on, Control H. Of, uh, look at that, Cinnamon. Did I install that? Okay, I did, I think, at some point in time. Um, config, awesome. Question is, how can we tell a certain application? Ah, that's troublesome. That's troublesome. Look, I can't get at my slider here because this window is on top of it. That's not okay. And that's not okay at all. I can't go to there. So I need to actually go with the arrow keys. Can we tell the system to forget about... a border? I have no clue. I'll leave this to you guys. Find it, share it, don't find it. It's not possible. All right, cheers.